What is going on, you guys? We are going to take a, the, I guess, the first tour of the soon-to-be card cave or man cave or whatever kind of cave you want to call it these days. Um, here at the house, we call it the loft. Um, is what we call it. Um, it's going to be the first place I've ever had in my life dedicated to like my sports card, sports memorabilia, um, whatever. Tiff and I are finally at a place financially where we could afford this, and our two older kids have moved out, so that definitely has helped. Um, so it is like in total disarray in there, but I'm going to try to do updates as we go along and, and, and kind of talk about what I hope to do um, in the future and in the near future here to make it a little better. So we'll go ahead and turn this thing around. Okay, you see it's a hot mess in here right now. Um, so as you walk in, so I got the monster. I had this desk, if you want to call it that. It's just a, basically a big, huge piece of oak. Um, solid freaking oak uh, that, that we had ordered. And then just some... Um, black metal dowel rods. This is exactly exactly um, what I wanted. We bought a new computer with two monitors. Um, so basically, it's so huge, and I, I did that so when I'm doing things with Slab City, um, I have plenty of room, you know, to put people's submissions, to put my submissions. Um, this is the first time, I guess, up in here since the move. You know, I was on deployment and then Tiff moved here from California by herself. So a lot of my stuff is still in boxes. I haven't gone through it all. A lot of this is my mail and stuff that came in while I was deployed. There's two, I bought two NFL Hall of Fame um, signed card collections. So every single card in this box is signed. And all of these right here are all just in penny sleeves. So there is a ridiculous amount of slabs there um what else we just got this chair i had no clue how expensive uh office furniture was or office chairs were um, i'm normally not a guy to to kiss and tell prices um but so this specific chair is made for big and tall which i'm six two uh, about 10 pounds shy of 300 pounds so i would say i'm kind of big and tall um, but this booger was like 700, 750 bucks with taxes. Um, I couldn't believe it. It's insanely comfortable, but I just could not believe how expensive it was. Um, what else are we going to do over here? This TV right there. We hope to mount right here on the wall. And then I just bought a wooden, uh, pretty wide, like four foot wide wooden um filing cabinet that hadn't came in the mail just yet but we're going to put it right there right below the tv um and then something kind of cool a little different i'm thinking about getting a mini fridge and putting it down here for like monster energy drinks maybe some beers for my friends or my my parents that come over I got some brewskis there and i'd like to put a place for a, a little keurig um because i'm a big coffee drinker and that'd be so sweet to have a place for that um the monster that we've had for many many years it's still it's not full i can tell you that there's still room to grow around here um what else i need to find some of those like wooden mini blinds um we have them throughout the house but for some reason when we bought this house that one that window didn't have one um so i need to buy and i'd like to get uh, dark wood slats all the ones in the house are uh, white but i'd like to get like dark wood keep this room super classy um leather chair we're thinking about getting rid of this and then having a pull out couch right here um kind of just a two-seater that'll pull out into a twin size bed um and then we'll get some kind of bedside table here in the future um so whenever I'm doing Slab City or just surfing the internet or anything like that, Tiff can come up here and spend all of her night with me. Um, <laughs> got my, my boy Canadian Mike gave me that a couple Christmases back. Um, freaking really like that. Then my closet is still a hot mess in here. 
uh, my father-in-law came while I was on deployment and put in this shelf. And so it was funny because he was telling my wife what was going on in here and she was writing me on Facebook. And I think there was a tiny misunderstanding on my end on reading because, man, this bookshelf, if you will, I mean, it's built into this thing now, but it goes way back there. And so anything I put way back there is going to stay way back there. And then Tiff had an idea, which I really like, of potentially turning this area here into a shipping station. Like putting bubble wrap and padded mailers and all that stuff. So when I'm doing Slab City, I have quicker access. I told her I think it'd be cool to get like one of those push carts. Like you see at the hibachi restaurants where the, the hibachi chef brings your food out. Uh, like a uh, one of those carts full of tape and packing material and all that. And whenever I'm going to do a submission to mail back, I could pull that cart out and wheel it over here and have all my stuff. So we still need to get a printer up here. And I think, I think that's the 10 cent tour, I think they call that. So this is the early stages of what I hope to be a really, really impressive uh, card cave or loft in the near future. Let me know what you think. Till next time. Adios. Be safe. Bye-bye. Toodles.